<laughs> I hope this helps somebody out. These are real world. Uh, these are real world examples of what happens when you're living off grid. We're really off grid. Typically, what happens when the sun goes down? I can look at the inverter, and uh, it it's usually a hundred percent. Like right now, it's at ninety six percent. It's eleven thirty in the afternoon. What you pray for on a daily basis is that you don't have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning because the generator kicked on, which is right outside the bedroom. So, so on a normal night, what will happen is we'll go to bed, turn everything off. There's no load. Just the refrigerators. We have freezers out here, and they're they're going to have small loads throughout the night, but it's never going to be that much. But I'll come look at the uh, percentage of battery charge in here. And if I see that it's in the low 80s or high 70s, I, I know we're good to go. And typically when I come back in the morning and uh, if I walk in here, I'll see readings anywhere from the 70s to the 60s. So that's just pretty basic or pretty, that's just a pretty normal night. And right now the nights are real long because the days are real short. During the summer, it's uh, it's less of a worry because the nights are short and you have those long days. Of course, if you got rain, you know that's a different story. But on nice weather days like today, uh, we'll go. When the sun goes down, the batteries will be full of charge. And when the sun comes up, the batteries will be probably in the 70s, could be high 60s. That's just a normal run-of-the-mill night. Now, what's been happening lately is that, and this is intermittent. This isn't happening all the time. This just happens occasionally. We'll, we'll have 100% charge. Everything will be fine, and then during the middle of the night, and it usually happens around 5 o'clock in the morning, right before the sun comes up, we'll get an alarm, and I'll come in here, and the battery will say zero. And so that'll fire up the generator. The generator will come on, and then, you know, the power will come back on. After a certain amount of charge, I think it's 30%, the alarm will go off. I don't know why the alarm just keeps going on, even when the generator comes back on, but it does. I wish I could change that. But anyway, after that, if the sun's up, I'll just go out there and manually turn off the generator, let the batteries charge it back up. And usually what happens when it does this, I'll come in at like noon, and I might be around, let's say, 50% or something like that. Then I could come back 30 minutes later, and it'll be 100%. So I called the solar guy and he said, I told him all that. And he goes, look, it sounds like one of your batteries might have a dead cell in it. He said, what you need to do is flip your battery disconnect, take your multimeter and test every battery. You don't have to take them out of string. Just test each battery and make sure you, sure you got 12 volts. Now it has to be when your batteries are, are showing 100% charge. You've got you've to wait for that. So if you got bad weather, you got to wait. So yesterday I had good weather. I had 100% charge, so I tested all my batteries. So anyway, here's the battery bank. Four banks of four uh, parallel to make 48 volts. These are 215 amp hour batteries. Turn off the, first you flip the battery disconnect on the inverter so the batteries aren't, aren't being used. You don't have to take the uh, batteries out of string because you're going to test just each individual battery so you just you just do a so you're just going to do a you know black to your negative red to your positive on, on each battery just like that well yesterday I tested all these and this battery right here was reading 11.27 volts and that's a problem so yesterday I pulled this battery out and uh, you know I just just disconnected it out of the string, pulled it out, and weighs 200 pounds. So it's really a job. You, 
Of course it'd be on the top shelf and not the bottom. So I took this out, I took it over to the uh, charger and uh, I ran the charger and I got it up to around 82% <clears throat> and uh, then it kind of stopped so then I put it on the uh, uh, engine crank and I let that go for a little while and I came back out and it, it hadn't hadn't stopped but I think it had an error code it was like 111 so I pulled it off put it back on and I was pretty sure I was this battery was gone I wasn't gonna be able to do anything with it and so I put it back on charge just normal charge and then I went back in the house to do something and I came back out later and I would kind of forgotten about it and I went back and looked and it said it was reading 15 volts so that might have got the uh, that might have done the job so I'm waiting to see how this thing is uh, reacting. Right now, it's doing pretty good. <clears throat> this, here's a tip for people who want to go off grid. Run your appliances during the day when the sun is out. Don't wait till, you know, I'm in the laundry room right now. I'm washing clothes today. Uh, run the laundry, the dishwasher, anything like that, the dryer, Anything like that, I run that during the day when the sun's out because that's really when you need to bring a big load onto your batteries when it's recharged. You don't want to do this stuff at night. So at the moment, it's looking pretty good because effectively what's, what was going on in this battery was I had essentially three batteries in there. I mean, it, it could show 11.2 volts, but it didn't have, it wasn't, it had no charge it's all going to show the voltage but it doesn't mean it's got any charge in it so i think basically i had the uh equivalent of a battery bank that was maybe um so it'd be you know 12 volts short of uh 48 so i think that's what was making the inverter think i don't know it was kind of weird so I will let you know later on if this actually fixed the problem or not. It's going to take a little while to see what happens. And once I get a few days, weeks behind me so I can see what's going on, I'll be able to, uh, I'll know for certain whether or not this worked or whether I've got to go down there and spend. He told me yesterday, I think the batteries are close to $600 now. They weren't that much when I bought them. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. And everybody go outside.